Hello and welcome to or back to my channel. Once again, welcome. This is the second vlog in my Montreal Grand Prix 2024 series. I am so excited that this video is finally yours. I'm sorry it was a little bit of a wait. It is actually, it is July 2024 and obviously this took place early June, but I have been doing a lot of exciting things. So yeah, thank you for being patient with me. I'm so excited that this video is finally yours. So this day is FP3 and Quality day. Free practice three in the morning and then qualifying in the afternoon. It was absolutely amazing. You'll just have to watch. I'll be popping in every once in a while to explain what's happening because it was just such an exciting weekend that the actual quality of my actual vlogging was potentially not there, but it's still really fun. We did so much exciting stuff. And if you've watched the race, if you watch the weekend on F1 TV or Sky Sports or wherever you watch F1, you'd know. Montreal was a very exciting race this year and a very exciting weekend with crazy weather, crazy stuff. The fan zone was really fun. So come along with me for this. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. And also definitely check out Friday, which is FP1 and FP2 day. That is already up on my channel. I'll probably have a pop-up for you if you want to go watch that before watching this one. And I also have like my getting ready packing where I made all my outfits because on this particular day I made my recreation of the James Corden McLaren Miami video shirt so if you want to see how I made it and the process definitely go check out that video but without further ado because I don't want this to be too long and it already is way too long for an intro enjoy the video no one ahead but everyone ahead It's quality day at the track. We're starting at the fan zone. Okay, I'm not gonna speak up about seeing anybody. Like McLaren. All my actual McLaren Lego. This is better. I love it. My first little jump in for this video. Oh my God, my camera's falling. Okay. I would like it to not do that. So we got to the track pretty early. We knew every day that when we were buying tickets, we wanted to get there early. So if you watch Friday, you know that we left at like 8 a.m. Same thing for quality day. We left really early. The Metro, cause you have to take the Metro to get to the Cirque du Soleil. It was very busy, but we actually happened to be right at the doors that were like in the middle and we were able to get off. And I was, as you saw, I was like the first person out. And then we got on the island and we entered the island right near the fan zone because we knew that we wanted to get the fan zone done, see everything and hopefully it would be less busy than later in the day. And also later in the day, we wanted to focus on on track action. The fan zone. The fan zone is so much fun. It's less fun in Canada than other races because we don't have like the main stage where the drivers actually come out and like do talk. I wish maybe someday I'll get to a race where that happens, but there's little activities set up So the one where they blast air at you that feels like what the drivers feel and then there's a Fake podium that you can do there's simulators and also the pit stop challenge I don't have video of us actually doing the pit stop challenge. But we did do it and we won our session a 5.04 second pit stop. That was really awesome. You have the tires and you're putting them on and off. If you go to a race, definitely check out the fan zone. In Montreal, we were really lucky with the Lego setup. The Lego McLaren, coolest thing ever. Oh, it's a shine. Thanks for protecting me, I need it. Of course. <laughs> Okay, we're done in the fan zone. We're almost back at our grandstands. FP3 starts relatively soon, so we're gonna go get seated. And I'm gonna assert my dominance so in my seat. So that's the other path we would take to go from the person who stole it yesterday. To try to see across. We got lunch. We have about 40 minutes till the session, so we got lunch. We're gonna just claim our seats. Someone sat in my seat and refused to move yesterday, so I had a bit more of an obstructive view, so I'm gonna go claim it. Towards our greener future. Présentement, pour s'assurer que la piste est prête, en attendant, vous pouvez nous écouter à la radio via. It's time. 
différence importante. Pourquoi? Parce que selon les conditions météo d'hier, ce sera la première réelle séance. I want to talk about Joe Guan Yu's crash for a second um, in FP3. That was really fun because it happened right there. I wish I had filmed the actual like moment it happened, but it was really cool to watch in real time. Him go into the barriers, and it was a water barrier, so they like splashed everywhere and then getting out to the actual timeline of everything happening. When you're watching, like you know what's happening and they show clips on TV of them clearing up the cars, but they do it really, really fast. And then since it was right up pit exit, they brought off the car like they normally would do, but they were actually able just to use the picker and bring it back into pit lane, which was really cool. So yeah, just wanted to bring that in. <laughs> After FP2 yesterday, he obviously had that real near miss where he caught the rear end. Okay, qualifying done. It's time for the Ferrari Challenge race. What do I mean when I talk about the Ferrari Challenge and the first race of it? So I did explain it in the Friday video, so if you haven't seen that one, still want to say definitely go watch that, but I'll do a quick explanation. Basically, throughout the F1 weekend, there is support races. Typically, like if you're an F1 fan, you're going to think of F2, F1 Academy, even F3. In Canada, we don't have those support races, but we do have the Ferrari Challenge and the Porsche Cup. They do practice and qualifying and Saturday morning, and then on Saturday afternoons, they have their first races and second races on Sunday. So yeah, I personally enjoy the Porsche Cup much more than for the Ferrari Challenge, which is surprising because the Porsches just sound better. But it was still really fun to watch, especially because there was a crash. So it was fun to see them bring the car into the side. We want to warm up the tires as quickly as possible. Double drapeau jaune tout autour du circuit. 
Alors, les pilotes qui se doivent regarder l'ordre dans lequel ils sont positionnés. So the car of Chosky is stuck in that first curve. He will certainly need help to take it out of there. On sait que ça se fait très bien, je voulais dire, ici, c'est ce qu'on a vu tout le monde. It was the Hauser. Le mur était endommagé, la roue. Et si je vois bien, c'est difficile de dire, mais nous, nous sommes... Ça semble déjà dégagé. Déjà dégagé. Est-ce que les véhicules de service sont dans une position sécuritaire? And the race will restart again as we enter the long stretch, that long street in Montreal. Here we go! Alors qu'on passe à la ligne de départ arrivé sous drapeau vert agité, the green flag is waved and we are racing again in Montreal. What did you guys think of qualifying? I like three. Or three like practice three. What? Three yeah. practice three. You yeah. three. <laughs> Best moment. Seeing Joe crash yeah. in front of us. It's pretty cool. And we listened to people on the way to our seats. There was these people behind us saying that they would never buy into this area because nothing happens here. Well, everything happened here. So there's like an hour before qualifying. We're gonna go take a look at the pit lane to see what's going on. Yeah, we're not gonna go that far. We're just gonna go see what's happening. And then back to our seats. And it's yep. raining. This is it. Quality, quality. I'm trying to get really excited. Do you see this is it? Quality, well, this is it for quality. It's always so last It'll be good. The whole team was there, so it was really nice. And only before the Monday, you've got... Like mid qualifying, you would have seen me put on my. This is me forgetting the word, but I was meaning poncho. Okay, so after qualifying was the Porsche Cup first race, and it was downpouring for it, so to the point that there was standing water on the track, which meant that there was a crash and the session was red flagged. So all the cars had to go in, and it was so cool to watch because all the cars were like lining up. But obviously, the pit stops take so much longer to put on wet tires than an F1 car. <laughs> 
So we sat in the pouring rain with just our ponchos for so long. Anyways, just wanted to pop in and say that. Et c'est parti! Et c'est parti pour la course pour ce carré de virage. Il va sûrement y avoir de l'action au premier virage. Okay guys, you're probably annoyed with me, but this is the last little jump in for this video because the video is almost over. But that clip you just saw of all the people, that was waiting for the Metro. We waited after qualifying. We watched the Porsche Cup, which is a timed race. So it's not like it was extended from that red flag, but it still took a while. Like they did an entire race, most of it under safety car in the end because of the amount of water on the track. And then we had to walk all the way from our grandstands to the metro which is we were at the furthest grandstands and when we got there there were so many people that clip that you just saw was actually like an hour into waiting we waited like an hour and 45 minutes to get into the metro and because we didn't know that five minutes before the pitbull co concert which was supposed to be like the pitbull podium concert after qualifying five minutes before it was supposed to start it was cancelled I had thought about buying tickets, didn't end up doing it because I didn't want to go alone, but so glad I did because Pipple didn't even come to Canada. He had to cancel the concert because of issues with his private jet, which I find so funny. And the funniest part was before it was canceled, I even made a joke as we were like walking of being like, oh, it's Mr. Worldwide. He's just going to roll up, probably like taking his plane. It's a couple hours getting to Montreal and doing the concert and going home that night. I was right because <laughs> He didn't know ahead of time he couldn't make it and he couldn't come to Canada because of his private jet. I thought that was funny, but yeah, an hour and 45 minute wait for the Metro. It was awful. Okay, and that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It was absolutely amazing and i cannot wait for next year next video in the f1 series is going to be race day so definitely subscribe down below if you aren't already subscribed so and you can hit that bell icon so that you know exactly when that video comes out and if you want to see my outfits and other behind the scenes stuff from the weekend or just want to follow me i would love if you followed me on instagram i won't keep you any longer thank you again for watching if you have any questions comment them down below tell me your favorite driver let's have like a little f1 conversation and i'll see you guys in the next video bye